Hey guys, this is Nefarious411, and welcome to episode 31 of The New Frontier. I have been working pretty hard on getting enough of these um, circuits, analyzed circuits, to be able to uh, craft up all of the other uh, speed upgrades. And uh, I actually created um, 16 speed upgrades for this guy and uh, 16 for that guy. Don't really need one for the uh, analyzer because it basically just analyzes. Um, I actually just found this hunger processor, which is funny that we already created one. Uh, found that in one of the chips. Reinforced iron sword and that. So now I can just shove those guys in there. And I did find out that uh, based upon the type of material that you put in here, you're going to have a more likelihood of one of these um, specific types of chips. So if we take a look at, what is this, um, precision chamber, precision chamber, and um, we can see that gravel gives us this damage circuit. Um, or I guess just leaves, uh, gives us that and so on. So um, cobble, um, which one's cobble? That one's stone, this one's cobble. So this one you can see that it's uh, rotating. So this one's just a random chance to uh, give you um, one of these different types of circuits. And that's what I was doing before, but um, since I was wanting speed upgrades, I went ahead and put some gravel in here, and uh, basically it's able to uh, shoot out all of these types of processors, and it's going to be the, uh, the same process processor type every single time. And notice how fast this is. I could just sh sit here and shift click it. I mean, automation would be nice for this, but it's not as much of a necessity now that uh, this is a little bit quicker. I've just been pulling stuff out here and there. Um, that was not analyzed. So now we should be able to uh, throw all of that stuff in here. And you can see that I am creating quite a bit of a, a collection of uh, different types of um, circuits. So let's uh, take a look at these. So if I uh, just shift click these, you can see that it's able to insert just fine. The uh, The problem with the, uh, the mod wasn't on insertion, it was on extraction. So at least I have the ability to hopper stuff in. But uh, let me go ahead and just get rid of these and let's go ahead and start the episode. Large tanzanite, that's kind of handy. Don't need any soil. And some of these actually hold energy, as you can see. Um, I have 19.2 um, kilo RF. Um, basically, any of these that hold energy will just drop it in here. Um, so let's go ahead and throw some of these. I just want to uh, finish this up and then we can uh, start taking a look at what we're going to do today. Um, one of the things that we're going to do is uh, in the, uh, the previous episode, we did create this hunger processor, which is very nice. It's this little guy right here, hunger module, and it's able to uh, keep me pretty satisfied hunger-wise, which is uh, very good. Um, but I would like to uh, try one of the other processors, and that is going to be this guy, which is a health processor. So what we do... Aw, oh, that's a shame. I was hoping for a health processor. That's one of the reasons why I'm finishing the analysts of these uh, circuits. Because I was hoping to get a health processor, but I am not that lucky. Uh, let me just see real quick if I have one. Nope, but I do have two of those guys, <laughs> which is funny, um, and a, a grenade. These uh, grenades are kind of cool. These are uh, craftable, uh, basically uh, taking baby grenades. <laughs> that creates a, a regular grenade. Um, analyzing chamber. Oops, I don't know how I got on that. Um, scientific calculator. So baby grenades is a grenade casing, which is reinforced stone, and some TNT gives you baby grenades. <laughs> but then you can get a regular grenade. So if I were to uh, jump upstairs, and fortunately it's still daytime, I can uh, go ahead and toss this guy, and we'll be able to see what a, a grenade does. Just right click, bam! Probably shouldn't uh, mess up my my view, but that was actually quite a bit of an explosion, so those might come in handy later. 
We'll just have to see. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the health processor. So in order to create that, it is going to be tanzanite. And I do not have enough tanzanite. So I will need to create a tanzanite. Um, and this is going to be an algorithm analyzing chamber. I think that's for analyzing circuits. So I do need an algorithm separator. So algorithm separator um, consists of things that I don't have. One, two, three, no. Can't wait until I can auto craft these because wow, this is becoming a pain. Um, let's go ahead and see what reinforced stuff we have. We have a hundred of those. Don't want to uh, eat into my supply too much, but, oops, I do need some. Um, I needed four of these guys. There we go. Um, I can't remember what the uh, thing was called, algorithm separator. That's right, and uh, stone separators. Wow. Power cube. Power cube. We need three of those. Is that correct? If I'm doing my math right. Fortunately, those are not expensive. Algorithm separator. Are we good now? Cool. I don't know if this requires power. Um, might put that guy right there. It does look like it might require some power. Um, so let's go ahead and run some cable. Second cable, first cable. Oh, I already have it on me. Um, right there, please. Cool. Now we have some cable. I will clean all this stuff up later. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, lapis, I believe, will give us what we need. And it looks like it's getting some night out there. So, let's go ahead and sleep before the mobs start wasting my bullets. All right. And lapis, we got a thousand lapis right now. Let's go ahead and grab a few of these. Eh, 16 might be fine for now. Let's see what this does. And uh, probably need some speed upgrades. Now that we have 26 of these circuits, um, let's uh, create some speed upgrades. So uh, fabricator, I kind of wish we had the ability to install speed circuits on this, but it doesn't look like we can. Come on. We should just be able to right click that and add the other uh, speed circuits. All right, so cool. This does actually create the uh, tanzanite. That is very nice. I wonder if it's the, uh, the same way. Um, that was the uh, algorithm separator. I'm hoping not. Yeah, it's the same way. I probably should have did individual lapis because I think that's going to be a little bit more efficient because we get much more of these uh, tanzanite shards. So let's uh, do it in this form. Probably won't be a problem once we get enough speed upgrades installed because this will actually start cooking pretty quickly. And... Uh, I think that may have been all the uh, tanzanite we needed, to be honest. All right, I'll just let that run. Um, we can uh, come back to that later. But uh, let's go ahead and run upstairs and see what we uh, have to do to create the, uh, the next thing, which is that health processor. This guy right here. Uh, we need some flawless diamonds, and that, if I remember right, is going to be um, a couple of diamonds and a atomic binder. Diamonds and binder. Oh, wait. No, I can't do that yet. <laughs> I saw the other uh, recipe in there for the uh, flawless diamond, and I about used it, but um, that is because... Of why? Because of this? Yeah, because of that guy. I need to take those recipes out. I need to create these whenever we can actually automate the stuff. All right. So that um, required this guy. 
And this is going to be a couple of diamonds and a couple of these. Did I need three? I may have needed three. So let's go ahead and do one more just to be on the safe side. There we go. Yep, it was three. Cool, so now we have a health processor and I believe this is going to work um, in a very similar way to the hunger processor uh, where you have the ability to put in things like flesh. Don't know if I have any flesh on me. I've got 45 here. Um, do I have any up here? Um, I got 36. Yeah, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and throw this in there and see if that takes it. Yep, that creates the uh, the health points. And uh, just very similar as the hunger processor, this does it for the health. So anytime that we uh, start getting hurt, it'll uh, fill up our health rather quickly. But we do need to have a health module. This guy right here, and that is going to require some stuff. Um, I wonder, so the, uh, the hunger module, where did I get the hunger module? Did I get it from the fabricator or did I craft that? Or maybe, because this one actually creates the, uh, the warp and the jump module. I am not sure. Let's uh, come up here and uh, let's go ahead and try to create this guy. Yeah, we almost got enough. Um, these are amethyst shards. And we get amethyst shards from a stone separator and lapis. Lapis. Stone separator is that guy. Oh, we got plenty. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Throw that in there. Collect some stuff. Eh, might as well have it work for us while we're in here. That is not the right stuff. It's that guy right there. All right. And... What else did we need for the health module? Um, a atomic binder. Health module? Wait. Was this creating another hunger module? I think I was accidentally uh, creating a hunger module. Um, so it does look like I need a couple of diamonds. Ugh, I don't know what's going on here and a uh, binder there we go throw that in here bop 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 cool i do not know why i did that <laughs> just throw it back into the system all right so here's our health module so if we come down here throw this guy in there we can see that we currently have 84 points not a lot um, one thing that I could do, let me deactivate my flight. Yeah, I can't fly now. Looks like it's still daytime out here. I am going to place this guy over here so that he's not on me. I am going to take some damage. Oh, wait. <laughs> that wasn't a lot of damage. Um, let's turn on flight again. Shift G, isn't it? There we go. And then maybe this will give me a quite a bit of damage. Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to say. Um, let me actually get rid of my hunger module too. Health. Let me see if I can do this without killing myself on accident. Yeah, it's gonna, all right, so come on. There we go. If I right, shift right click that, there we go. It automatically adds health back. Um, I don't know if I need to do that every single time. Wait, oh, there it is. It's like, where'd it go? <laughs> There we go. It's not refilling, but I just picked it up. So I don't know if I have to do this every time, but you can see how it uh, just adds it 
back in, which is very nice. All right. So we have both health and hunger kind of taken care of. Um, let me turn my flight back on. Please. There we go. Um, let's run downstairs and grab some of our flesh. I know that I was trying to do this in the last episode, but um, because of chunks not loading, I wasn't able to do it. And I forgot to uh, do that in between episodes. Been kind of busy. Hopefully, hopefully chunks can load. Just go through this really quick. And we should have plenty, plenty of flesh in here. In this crate, we have these flesh, but we also have compressed rotten flesh. <laughs> so we have plenty of flesh. So uh, let's go ahead and run back. And uh, so that you don't have to wait, I will cut right there. All right, I am back. And I have all of this flesh in my hands. And uh, we should be able to start adding this up. I don't know if there's a limit to how much the hunger and the uh, the health processor can hold. Um, I know that the, uh, the modules themselves can only hold 1,000. Um, but this will be kind of interesting. Bam! That's a lot of flesh. <laughs> that is very cool. So all I have to do is uh, go sit down in the uh, that spawner room and uh, I can collect all the flesh that I want. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and throw that in there so that we can start collecting the flesh points or health points. <laughs> I call it flesh points. And I think this caps out at a thousand. Wow, that just ate it all, didn't it? Yeah, that capped out at a thousand. All right, so um, I think the, uh, the next thing that I want to uh, do is I got all these calculators. <laughs> I don't really want to uh, to hold on to all of these calculators. So the uh, the flawless calculator is actually kind of nice in that it has different modules that you can install. So right now I have flawless cl uh, calculator or flawless crafting. Yeah, flawless crafting, um, and that basically allows me to use the uh, the flawless stuff. So if I had iron ingots and I did the uh, the flawless crafting, you can see that it creates the ender pearls. That's really nice. But it also has if I um I guess if I uh, just shift right click, it brings this up. I thought it just rotated through, but maybe that was the older one. Now it uh, brings up this uh, user interface. Um, so that you can choose what type of crafting or which module that you're going to be using with the flawless calculator. So this one is the dynamic one. So all of the uh, other calculators that we had, um, such as calculator, um, this was scientific calculator, and this is the atomic calculator, which is this guy right here. Kind of no longer need to do as a separate thing. Um, I'll probably just place this guy in here for later automation. Don't need that chest anymore. Um, because later when it's, we actually get to be able to extract things out of these guys, we should be able to uh, start automating that kind of stuff, which honestly, I should be able just to uh, grab my docking stations that I have here. And uh, we should be able just to uh, place all the other uh, calculators in these guys. So let's go ahead and grab that. I um, guess it doesn't really matter. And then throw in the atomic. Well, maybe not the atomic first. Maybe I'll do these in order. Um, so that's a crafting calculator. That's the one without energy, apparently. I think I may have put the one with energy into, no, that's a crafting calculator. Wow, that's cool. So is this a portable crafting? That's nice. Let me uh, put that to the side. This is the one that I thought I had. Uh, so this is the uh, the normal calculator. Uh, so I can place that guy right there. Scientific calculator, the one with the division. That was the second tier. And I think the uh, atomic was the third tier. Eventually I might have the uh, flawless calculator, but I only got one of these guys. 
But uh, normal crafting. Oh, cool. So this has uh, crafting in here as well. That's pretty nice. Uh, so I guess that means that I don't need this guy. Don't really need to automate that too much. Cool. So shift right click storage module. This basically acts as like a backpack. So uh, we essentially have a full backpack on our player, which is pretty nice. So I can, uh, Oh, it doesn't work like a chest. So I can't just uh, space click it in there. Eh, it kind of stinks, but it's nice to be able to have that stuff. Um, energy module uh, basically holds some RF. Um, I think this might act like a battery. So if I have um, any equipment on my person that requires power, it'll be able to uh, fill it up just like a battery maybe. I am not entirely sure. Um, but as you can see, I have a bunch of empty slots too. So I have these uh, two other modules that might be nice to be able to have on this one calculator rather than having um, as separate things in my inventory. So if I were to do that, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the calculator. We should have a module workstation. So a module workstation looks pretty easy to craft, actually. Um, what am I missing? This guy, atomic module, cool. And we have a module workstation. I don't know if this guy requires power. Um, it doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that guy. I got so much stuff over here. Probably over here, since this is like the other uh, module stuff. I might actually move these to another side. Hopefully that retains all of the uh, points that I have in there. Oh no, did that take all the points? No! <laughs> that took all my points. I don't think I have that much in there, but don't break those. It'll uh, it'll take your points away. <laughs> that sucks. Um, so I'm going to have to go get more flesh. I don't know if these take anything else. Um, might take food. So if I were to take... Um, um, Eaten? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what text would be in a lot of these. Um, potatoes, maybe. Potatoes? Got some big potatoes. Can you take that? Yes, you can. So I got hunger points from that. Um, what about wheat? Can I just put raw wheat in there? No. Doesn't look like it. Well, it does look like it can take food though, so it doesn't have to be flesh. It doesn't have to be mobbed. What's that? Yeah, I don't know. There's still stuff in my storage that shouldn't be here. I'm going to have to take some time and purge all this. Like, I thought I got rid of all these advanced backpacks. Whoa, that's a lot. I, I think I just need to avoid this crap. Um, there used to be stuff here. I don't know what happened to that. And there used to be stuff in here, too. Where's all the stuff going? Um, I am not entirely sure. But I guess that'll help me uh, clean out. Anyways, I'll do this off camera. I am sidetracking. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able just to uh, throw in my flawless calculator and we can see all. All right. So apparently there might be a bug with the, uh, the module workstation as well, because as soon as I tried to grab this out, it crashed my game. Um, there might be a way for me to do this since it's a manual process. I'm wondering if I can insert these in there? No? Can I take these out without crashing? I can. Um, does this have to be an empty health module? Um, if I were to do this, can I drain it? I don't know if that is a thing. That's kind of cool though. Let me just drain it out. I'm assuming I get the yeah, the same amount back. Wait, hunger points a thousand ten twenty two? That's kind of weird. 
Um, can I not install in here? In diamond. So that's for the flawless crafting. It's a crafting calculator. How does that work? Um, I wonder. Let's take a look at the info. Um, module workstation. This allows you to configure the modules installed on a flawless calculator. It doesn't require power. Um, well, maybe the hunger, well, it doesn't make sense. The hunger module should be a module that you can install. Um, nutrition module stores both health and hunger points. However, it doesn't require shift clicking as it constantly maintains the power, the player's health and hunger points while it is placed in your inventory. Oh, okay. What about a nutrition module? Let me uh, do a nutrition module because that was probably something that I need. Nutrition module. Um, looks like I need health processor, energy module, and a hunger processor. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Do I have the ability to create? No, I don't. Um, kind of wondering what the sub warp module is. <laughs> I'm really interested in that one because um, I am not completely familiar with that. Um, health processor, let's go ahead and see if we can create some of these. Um, we will need more tanzanite and amethyst. Thank you. And uh, what else do we need? We need flawless diamonds. Ugh, diamonds. I may have to just create another stack. Let's just grab some gold. One, two, three, four. Um, in order to get that out, I'm thinking that I might have to just do that. No! 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 Oh, oh wait. That's a bug. <laughs> it basically um, just took everything out of it, but it duplicated it. Um, I am going to trash that stuff since it wasn't done legitimately. And the blood moon is rising, of course. I think it just knows that I needed to um, collect more flesh. <laughs> so uh, it looks like I'm going to be sitting downstairs for a while. Um, I'm going to uh, do a little bit more reading about these uh, different modules. And uh, hopefully whenever I come back after the blood moon, um, we'll have a little bit more to go off of. All right, so it is morning, and uh, I didn't do too bad. <laughs> I actually got quite a bit of stuff, so let me uh, deposit all of my experience real quick, just so that I can do that, and uh, yep, quite a bit of flesh. That seems to be good, but I also found out that I have the ability to use feathers. So these actually convert into health points, which is good because I have plenty of feathers. Um, doesn't look like it helps with the hunger points though, just the health. Um, might be able to use chicken. Yep, chicken works in the, uh, the hunger processor. Um, bones do not, but they work in the health processor. Good to know, all right, cool. So at least I have something to do with all of these additional supplies that I'm getting from the, uh, the mob grinder. There we go. And I have these uh, compressed bones in here. Bam. Uh, some of these I can actually use in evil craft to convert these into blaze rods. Come on, blaze rods. Yeah, so that's probably a good use for the other uh, bones. Um, I might actually pull this stuff into my storage system down here. But uh, let's go ahead and get back to uh, what we were working on. And that was creating a another health processor, right? 
Am I doing, yeah, here's the hunger processor. I need the health processor. So flawless diamonds is what I was going for. And flawless diamonds, what are those? What are those? Um, atomic binders, atomic binders. And I created uh, diamonds from what I had before. So that's the, uh, the flawless calculator. We need dynamic crafting. So now we have the ability to throw things in here, which is pretty cool. And uh, this is going to be the binders. I might actually leave these diamonds in here. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt. And that is not the right thing. What am I doing? So this is a uh, processor. Processor, health processor. Oh, flawless diamonds. Duh. Wait. Yeah. Flawless diamonds. Large tanzanite. What was I doing wrong? Tanzanite. Um, tanzanite? Okay. Um, let's go downstairs and grab some more tanzanite. Wait a second. What happened to uh, all the junk that I had in here? Um, that's weird. Try this again. Still has my speed upgrades in there. Swore I refilled that with uh, lapis before. All right, so this is creating the, uh, the small tanzanite. So let me uh, create the recipe for that. Well, that's interesting. It's actually using those tanzanite instead of these guys. Tanzanite. That's very interesting. All right. Um, I just went through a bunch of uh, the Silence Gems tanzanite on accident. Um, that wasn't expected. Um, health processor. Health processor. Just like that. Um, keep the info calculator on me. And uh, this was the uh, nutrition module. Nutrition module. And that is going to require an energy module. Energy. One of you. And I guess I need to put this in here. And that creates a nutrition module. So I should be able to uh, use this for both hunger and health, which is kind of cool. So I might be able to uh, put these guys away. That's why I drained them. So if I put this in here, we can see that it is pulling out the hunger points. Nice. So I still need to have both the hunger. Wait a second. Oh, it's like, where did that go? Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about this guy. Because I still can't add to this. If I were to take that out, it would uh, <laughs> crash the server again. Uh, all right. Um, let me get rid of these again. Let me just throw these off the balcony over here for now. I need a, a trash can up here. Crafting storage. Ooh, storage. Um, did that? Okay. Whoo! All my stuff's still there. Yay! <laughs> I was afraid that it uh, like voided all of my stuff. All right, so looks like I'm gonna have to at least hold the uh, nutrition module for a while in my hands. Um, I guess that's not terrible. So let me go ahead and fill him up. Um, feathers could go in here. Let's go ahead and throw the feathers in. This should be almost done. Oh, wow. That's holding much more than a thousand now. That's good. That way I don't have to come here as often. All right, so let's throw that, 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 and don't need that. Kind of sucks that I can't add or remove things from this. Stupid module workstation. Why doesn't it work? I need it to work. All right, cool. 
and I think this can just be in my inventory and I don't have to worry about eating or getting hurt again because this will actually uh, auto add back to my um, health and hunger so that is pretty cool um, one more thing before we ended off for today there was a couple of other modules um, that I was kind of interested in such as the uh, the advanced terrain module um, obviously I can't install it into my calculator but uh, we should be able to uh, use this if I were to I don't know if I can use it without being inside the calculator dirt stone so now yeah so you can see that I'm able to convert these so if I go back to grass block I can convert um, that goes for any of this stuff so it actually just converts um, I think the uh, advanced one can uh, do like grass and gravel and dirt and stuff like that but it allows you to basically um, do a little bit better landscaping which is kind of cool so if I wanted to uh, convert this gravel over here into grass I would be able to do so or if I wanted a, uh, a sandy beach I'd be able just to do that and I think it just uses like one RF uh, for every replacement so I might have to uh, refill it later but I'm kind of curious if I had the energy module turned on do I have the ability to refill I don't know how that works <laughs> I don't know how that works. I don't know what the uh, energy module does, actually. That's kind of cool, though. Um, and that was the advanced one. Uh, module. There's the, uh, the basic terrain module, which uh, I think that only deals with, like, dirt and stone. Maybe cobblestone. Health energy module. Hmm. I am not entirely sure. Where's my info? info so let's take a look at this real quick at modules we can see some of the other modules um, such as the other uh, jump module I would actually like to create this I don't know if I can right now jump module yeah that looks like uh, some fabricator stuff and uh, this circuit is created with these which is cobblestone is that the only way no precision is that really the one is that the yeah uh, the same circuit that creates the uh, speed upgrades because right now I have 23 it's really hard to tell the difference between these um, so this has this one's a little darker but in isolation it's really hard to tell let me uh, grab that and that that one looks yeah that one's this one so I'm not exactly sure how to uh, get these because um, this says cobblestone I don't really want to do cobblestone is cobblestone really the only way to do that one because that would suck yeah that one might be the only way you can create dirty circuits I think that's the right one but man obsidian is pretty expensive for that I um, guess I could convert wood into obsidian using the uh, flawless calculator but wow yeah I might have to uh, wait on that one um, what was the other module the warp module that's the one that I was looking at jump module oh oh okay so one of them jump module takes the lighter one I could do that one let me uh, create the uh, the jump module um, let me do that and I'll be right back all right I just passed 50 which is a uh, pretty nice with this setup um, I mean could be nicer with some automation but uh, being able just to uh, sit here and just spam clicking this <laughs> it's pretty nice and uh, just 
throwing all of those into here and spam clicking this guy. That works really well for me as well. <laughs> and then it's just a matter of grabbing all of the crap out of these circuits, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I should be able to at least fabricate that guy. Let me make sure he starts. There it goes. Cool. That one's already analyzed. So while that's going, I might as well finish analyzing these. It looks like it is nighttime. Didn't even realize it. And uh, let's go ahead and throw these in there. Oh, did that finish? Nice. Jump module finished. And it looks like I have a stable circuit. I guess that was the only stable circuit. Um, that one's not analyzed. I swear I analyzed all these. Ooh, broccoli health. Seriously? Now I get a health processor? <laughs> Dang it! See, I, I guess it's uh, probably worthwhile to uh, do a bunch of analysis of these um, before too much time has passed by because you could uh, get stuff out of it. So let's go ahead and fill this guy up. Looks like he holds 10,000 RF and uh, target is blocked. Nice. So it looks like this guy can uh, warp me somewhere. It looks like a cost of 1000 RF to uh, anywhere that I'm looking within 500 blocks. So if I look at that stone, bam, I'm there. Nice. That used a thousand, yeah. Boop. And it'll uh, basically, like if I look at the bottom of the block, it'll uh, warp me to the top of it, which is pretty cool. Um, not sure exactly how to charge these things. Kind of wish that the... Um, kind of wish the, uh, the power module worked. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but uh, this is actually pretty nice. Kind of wish I had the, uh, the warp module too. Because the, uh, the warp module um, from the uh, info calculator, and yes, I am aware that I'm already over time and I'm talking a lot, but the uh, warp module will basically uh, bring you back home, right? Allows you to set a home teleport position. So that would be kind of nice, being able to uh, be out there and just teleport home. Um, but I do have to wrap it up for today, and this is probably the, uh, the last time I'm going to look at the uh, modules for a while until I have the ability to actually install them into the uh, Flawless Calculator and uh, deal with some of the automation. Uh, Got to do something. But uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you could rate and comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> and also, if you like the series, please hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye.